This video is about how to do the sets tutorial on Babbage. So we click on the down arrow, we click on sets, and the first thing it says is we have to log in. So I'm going to log in as Harry. This is the first time Harry has opened the sets tutorial, so the questions have just been generated. So the tutorial questions have been created, so click the tutorial button again. You can either do that by clicking down and clicking on sets, or you can just refresh the page. And if you refresh the page, you've now got the questions that we've generated. So I'll do question one. It says a restaurant surveyed 152 customers, 90 like pizza, 85 like curry, and 23 like neither. So how would we solve a question like that? Well, the first thing I would do is to draw A Venn diagram. So this is, um, we'll put a P here, that's the pizza people, and we'll put a C here, that's the curry people. Okay, and for now I'm going to write 90 like pizza and 85 like curry and 23 like neither. So let's add those numbers together. So we've got 90 and 85 and 23. Add those together, we get 8, um, 19, 198. Now, 198 is obviously more than 152. So let's subtract 152 from it, and we're going to get 46. So that means the intersection must contain 46 people. So inside here, we've got 90 minus 46, which is... 44 and in this area here we've got 85 minus 46 which is going to be 39 so we can cross out the 85 and we can cross out the 90 so let's just check 44 plus 46 is going to be 80 90 and 39 plus 39 plus 46 is going to be 70 85 so that's correct and if we add these together now 44 plus 46 is 90, plus 39 is going to be 129, plus 23 is going to be 149, 152, which is what we're expecting. So that is now the Venn diagram of what we need. So the first question says, how many people do not like pizza? Well, obviously, the people in this section do like pizza, so the ones who don't like pizza are 39, and 23 which is going to be 62 so if we click in here and we type 62 and then and click on am I right and we are right so the next question says how many people do not like curry well it's going to be a similar sort of logic the people who like curry are this group here so the people who don't like curry are 44 plus 23 which is going to be 67. So we can click on here, type 67. Am I right? Yes, we are. How many people like both pizza and curry? Well, that's the intersection of these two sets. So it's that little bit there. The number of people who like pizza and curry is 46. So question 1D, if a member is chosen at random, what is the probability that they like curry? Well, We've got this group of people who like curry. There are 85 of those, and there are 152 in total. So we can say the number of people that don't like curry is 85 divided by 152. Now you can leave your answer like that if you want. Am I right? Yes, I am. Or you can calculate the value. So if we say 85 divided by 152, equals 0.56. We could put 0.56 in if we wanted. Are we right? Yes, we are. So question two. Let's just clear the board a bit. We've got A is equal to this set of elements, B is equal to these, and C is equal to just 17. Question 2A says, what is in A intersect B? It says, give the sets, so we need sets A and B. 
Try drawing a Venn diagram on paper, which we will do, and then give your answer. So we need sets A and B. So I'm just going to copy these from here and paste them into my answer block. The uh, sets need to be on different lines. So we'll stick that there. Are we right? Yes, we are. And now we need to do A intersect B. So let's just copy that from here. So A intersect B is equal to, and let's just draw the Venn diagram of the data we've got here. So we've got We've got A, we've got B, and we've got C. So C has got 17, B has got 17, and A has got 17. So obviously that 17 is in all of the sets. B has got 14, and so has A, so there's got to be a 14 in there. And then everything else is in A, isn't it? So we've got 4, 5, 11, 14 we've got and 17 we've got. So as a quick check, C has got one element, there's C, and there's one element in it. B has got two elements in it, so there's B, and there are two elements in it. And A has got one, two, three, four, five elements in it. One, two, three, four, five. So we're probably correct then. So now A intersect B, that's going to be this zone where A and B intersect. So we can type A intersect B is equal to curly brackets um, 14 and 17. Close your curly brackets. Are we right? Yes, we are. If you put the wrong brackets in, it would be marked wrong. So let's put the proper brackets back in. Just as a reminder, ordinary brackets are for Cartesian points, square brackets are for polar points, and curly brackets are for sets. Question 2b, give the sets, so we want b union c. So let's copy b and c from the question and paste those in, and we'll get rid of the, the words we don't want. Um, are we right? Yes, we are so far. And now we want B union C. So let's put that in. B union C is equal to curly brackets. B union C. Here is B. Here is C. And the union is all of B and all of C. So B union C is equal to 14 and 17. So that's 14 and 17. Are we right? Yes, we are. For question 2C, we need all three sets. So let's copy and paste those. So we've got C is equal to 17. B is equal to 14 and 17, and A is equal to 4, 5, 11, 14 and 17. So are we right so far? Yes, we are. So A intersect B is this area here. And then we're going to get the union of that with C. So everything that's inside the red lines is just 14 and 17. So we can say C union A intersect B is equal to 14 and 17. Are we right? Yes, we are. 2D is the same sort of logic as 2C, but the uh, unions and the intersects are the other way around. Okay, question 3A. 
So we're given that A is equal to C, D, F, H, J, U, Y. B is equal to B, C, G, H, I, N, P, U. And the universal set is B, C, D, F, G, H, and so on. So remember that A with a little C means the complement. So let's, um, let's start by creating a Venn diagram. So we want A union B. We're going to create a Venn diagram. What I would do here is to create a diagram. I would have A and B. And now I'm going to copy the universal set. Let's identify what, what elements are in both A and B. So C is in both, so we'll put a C in here. D isn't, F isn't, H is, so we'll put an H in here. H, J, U, and U is in both. So let's just check that. C is in both, D, F, H is in both, J, U is in both. Right, so C, H, and U. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say we've done C, we've done H, and we've done U. Right, so the next thing I need to do is to put all of the elements into A. So we've got C, so we've got D, F, H we've already got, we've got J, and we've already got U, and we've got Y. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that, that is probably okay for A. So let's cross out the elements we've put in. We've got D, F, J, and Y. So we've got D, F, J, and Y. So now we'll put in the elements of B. So for B, we've got a B. We've done C. We've got a G. We've done H. We've got an I. We've got an N and a P, and we've already done U. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's probably all the elements in B. So let's just cross those off the universal set. We've got B, we've got G, we've got I, we've got N, and we've got P. So what's left? We've got S. X and Z. So they must be in the universal set and not in A or B. So we've got S, X and Z. So we'll cross those off. We've got S, X and Z. So looking at this universal set here, all of the letters have been crossed out, which means that our Venn diagram is probably correct now. So now we can start answering the question. The first thing to look at is A union B. Well, A union B is all of A and all of B. So it's that lot. So the only thing that's not in there is S, X, and Z. So let's, um, so let's copy A and B and paste those in. And now we want to put in brackets A union B complement. And that is going to equal S, X, and Z. And are we right? Yes, we are. So question 3B, we want the intersection of A complement and B complement. So let's go back to our diagram here. Let's take off that line. So let's just see what we're talking about. So we're going to have A complement, which is everything that's not in A. So A complement is going to be those things there, isn't it? OK, and then B complement is everything that's not in B. So let's use a different color for that. Let's use purple. Um, so B complement is everything that's not in B. So it's going to be those things there and the S said X. So that's those bits there. And what we're looking for in the question is the intersection between 
the red area and the purple area. Well, that's this zone here. So to answer this question, we've got to give a complement. So let's do that. So a complement is equal to a complement is everything that's not in a. So that's b g i n p. So it's b g i n p s x z s x z. Okay, and then we've got b complement is equal to, and that's everything that's not in b. So that's d f j y. So d f j y s x z s x z and are we right so far so good so now what we want to do is to say a complement intersect b complement is equal to and what it's equal to is s x and z because that's the only zone here it's this area which is the only one that's in both the red zone and the purple zone so we've got s x and z and are we right yes we are 3c and 3d are similar to 3a and 3b though the questions are actually different and that is how you answer the set's tutorial.